With me going all over the Epic Games marketplace looking for a whole bunch of awesome plugins for Unreal Engine 5, and I've become very intrigued with Unreal Engine. Now, this is the creator of Fluid Flux, and yes, this is a very expensive program, but from what I've gathered, it's totally worth it. Now, I've been looking at all the creator's videos, I've been looking at all the creator's demos, and then I discovered there's a demo for Unreal Engine 5.3. I said, you know what, let me download and play around with it. So, uh, you know, tag along with me. All right, cool. So it starts off right here. And, of course, this is level one. So this is showing you how fluid flux works. Let me see if I can push one again to start it from scratch all over again. There we go. Zoom out a little bit. So I guess what it's doing right here is that it's starting the water from here the simulation and look it's showing you that you can actually have things bounce in the water have objects interact with the water and if you have the correct land mask it'll actually conform against the water and it will just fill up all the gaps I'm gonna see sit right here and see how long it takes the water to get here but I guess the water will keep on going until it fills up the container, apparently. I don't really know too much about Fluid Flux. That's why I'm messing around with the demo. But Fluid Flux is perfect for what I want to use in my project. Um, most of my project consists of a lot of water. And I was always wondering, I'm like, how am I going to get around water and water simulation in Unreal Engine 5? And... Unreal Engine has its own water system, which is pretty decent, but there's a, a couple of things that I don't like about the water system in, in Unreal Engine 5. And yeah, you can get around it and make it look really good. And I've seen a lot of people who went around it and it looked really good. But when I got introduced to Fluid Flux, oh my boy, oh boy. Alright, so this is level 1. It's just filling up this whole container right here, which is cool. And it's, it's just going to keep going until it reaches all the way over here and then fills up to the brim. So that's cool. All right, so let's go to let's go to the other level. Ah, now this one's like a little deserted beach, and I guess it's showing you how you can make a beach. Now imagine if you had a video game, or in your scene you had your character right here, and he or she or whoever had to get stranded on a beach, and now they're like, "Uh, I'm here. Look how beautiful this water is." And yes, you did see a rag doll earlier, somewhere over here. There he is, Mr. Rag Doll. I guess it's showing you how it looks ragdoll. It said hit Q, and I guess you can ragdoll as well. So I guess we both ragdolling it right here. Bam. Nice. Look at the waves. Oh, my goodness. This is beautiful. I mean, when you look at this, and you can add this to your scene. I mean, now, if I'm correct, this should be able to work in some video games. I, personally, am not getting this to use in video games i'm going to use this for virtual production like just to make renders in uh in render queue movie render queue and see if i can make some really beautiful cinema scenes with this so that's what i really want to use this for that's nice all right so let's go to option three i guess this is the same deserted desert but at night i guess it's showing you the the waves the title is coming up a little bit more rough a little bit more rougher going a little bit more over the beach over the sand i think it's the same thing yeah yes i try to get into that boat right there and that boat is really hard to get into that boat so i'm not even going to try all right so this is option number four and yes you can change the colors too i was wondering how just push i it shows you all the instructions right here on the bottom right and you just hit the color so let's just see say you were like you know you had a great battle or something and something you know whatever you're on an alien planet and you're going through the alien water. You know what I mean? Something similar to that. Let me just zoom back a little bit so I can see this better. So what it's showing you right here is that it's like in a little container. And look at this. It's just going up and down. And it's affecting the way the waves are. So this is amazing. I mean, sky's the limits for the things that you want to do with this. Let me see if I can jump back in here. Nice. Let's change that watercolor real quick. 
Now, I'm not too sure how Fluid Flux works. I would love to see somebody actually purchase this for Unreal Engine 5.3 or Unreal Engine 5.4 and actually show a step by step on how to do this. I mean, most likely when I get my stuff together, I'm actually going to purchase this. But until then, I would like to see how it is because you're going to spend a lot of money for this plugin and you don't want to you want to make sure this is what you want to use it for. Now, I've been looking at the comment section of this Fluid Flux and some games are not supported for this, so I don't know what's the general purpose for this. This is a really good simulator, but when you pay for it, what are you really going to use it for? To tell you the truth, I want to use it for movie render queue. I'll show you a scene in a minute that I want to actually want to use this for. I think what made me fall in love with this is the fact that the water looks so real and you can control the sun too. So when you control the sun, let me see if I can hold on L control the sun, give it different looks. Nice. Nice. So, you know, I mean, I've sat here and I've swam around this demo and, you know, sometimes I just put the speakers up really loud and just stand here and sit. I mean, just sit here and listen to the waves. Nice. All right. So this is option number six. This is level number six. I guess it's just showing you like if a dam broke, let's say you had a scene or a game or anything in your project where a dam has to break and now it has to fill up the container or fill up a certain area like this. I guess it's showing you the demo and I like that they put a boat there. At least it shows you that it has a little bit of buoyancy when it comes to things. I, I would really like to see an in-depth tutorial on Fluid Flux uh, for the creator who made Fluid Flux. I know you're very busy, and I've read I've read your comments, and you reply to all the comments, so that's good. And you said most of the, the, the how to handle Fluid Flux is in the documentation. But you already know. Come on, stop playing. You know most of us ain't going to read the documentation properly. That's only for the geeky nerds. I know I ain't going to read it. I, I think I'll do a lot better if I seen somebody actually go in Unreal Engine and start a project from scratch and put something together. Look at that. You even got a little current going on. That's nice. A little whirlpool action going on. I would love. I, I, well, actually, I am going to purchase this plugin as soon as I get my stuff together. I can get up the money to get this. All right, so let's go to the last option, which is option seven. Now, I think option seven is what really made me fall in love with Fluid Flux because I have a specific project and a scene that I would like to have my, I actually have a lighthouse, it's a lighthouse scene. And I would, I would when I see this scene, I imagine my lighthouse directly right where, I'm, where, where my mannequin is standing right now. Let me, let me show you for a minute real quick. See if I can pop out of here real quick. Yeah, okay. So this scene right here, well, this project right here is my lighthouse that I'm working on. And it's a little project that I'm working on. And it's an introverted anti-superhero that bought a lighthouse on auction for $7. I know it's crazy. And now he just stays here and he's in the middle of the ocean well the middle of the atlantic ocean and he's supposed to simulate that and i mean imagine fluid flux what we what we just saw wouldn't that look real nice with this right here so that's a little project that i'm working on for my own little personal thing and he's just sitting here barbecuing minding his business doing his own thing and now you see the only thing about the original water in unreal it looks nice and you know you can adjust it to make it look nice too you move the sun around you can you know you can go ahead and you can uh, make the water look really nice but i mean come on when you actually get your when you when you look at fluid flux and you see what it can do and the capabilities of what it can do then you say to yourself damn yo do i want to use anything else and that's how i am right now man i'm just sitting here like damn i would love to use fluid flux but just wanted to go with the demo and look at this look at this i'm gonna go into the water what i what i like about fluid flux because this will meet all my needs for some of the scenes that i'm working on that all right so now my guy is on his lighthouse and now he jumps into the water and he's like oh i jumped into the water and now somebody's chasing him underwater look you can go underwater and it shows you the meters you can go it's already built in that's beautiful i love it and you can keep going and keep going and keep going. Let me zoom into myself a little bit. You can keep going. And then look, I'm already at what? 50 meters. 
and I can just keep going down and down. I mean, it's so beautiful. It's like already put together for you. And I got to give props to the developer of this plugin. I mean, like Unreal Engine. Oh, my goodness. You can do so much with this program. Instead of me going all the way back, let me just start from scratch again. But, yeah, I just wanted to mess around with it. And um, I'm sure there's a couple of things I didn't cover. But, you know, it could be me. Sky's the limits, right? Look, you can turn the, the colors different. Do a whole bunch of different stuff. I think you can. Uh, which one is slow motion? I know I got the ragdoll as Q, so I just ragdoll myself. So the developer with the with this demo gave you a couple of options, so you could see the options that you have once you purchase this plugin. And I think, wow, this plugin is definitely worth it. Let me see if I can mess around with the sun. He said I can hold down L. So now you can see this in a different light. Oops, wrong button. Wow, look at that nice look how beautiful that water is you cannot run it's definitely worth it just wanted to play around with the demo real quick um you know see how fluid flux is tell me what your opinion is in the comment section and tell me if you think that it's worth it and if you have fluid flux i would definitely love some feedback uh, to see how how it is in an environment how it is does it crash a lot you know do you have any issues with it because it is a pretty dope looking plug-in and you can't lie i mean shoot look how beautiful that water is i mean you can do so many things with this so anyway just want to let you guys know this fluid flux demo is available in the unreal marketplace and if you're interested or if you bought it already please give me some feedback and i would love to hear what you have to say i'll talk to you guys the next time i do a video